Roadcaster Pro Mixer is currently my favorite. I've been recommending it to all of my clients, but it's kind of complicated. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you the basic setup on how to get this thing hooked up to your computer, how to get a mic installed on it, how to use the headphones, and how to get a signal running through this thing to get you up and running as soon as possible. And your first step is gonna be downloading the Rodecaster Pro Companion software. It's free, it's in the description below. You download this software and the important thing for today's tutorial is to make sure you update the firmware on your particular mixer. So basically you download this software, you then run the firmware updater on it once you have your Rodecaster Pro actually plugged into your computer. Here's mine. So what you're gonna need to do is see here in the back, you're gonna need to plug in the USB cable that comes with the mixer here and the power cable that comes with the mixer here and run that USB cable into the USB jack on your computer where you have downloaded the software. Once you do that, the software will walk you through the process of updating the firmware and you can always click the cog up here in the top left hand corner go to hardware, and then go over to advanced and information. And this will let you know that you have the latest firmware version or not. 2.0.3 is the latest. They're currently doing beta of 2.1, so you'll know you have the rate latest version there. Great, now that you've updated your firmware, all of the features are enabled for the mixer. Now you can get started on getting things set up. First things first, go ahead and plug in your microphone. I like to use channel one if I'm only using one mic, so plug it into the XLR jack in the back of the mixer and it'll go click once it pops in there. What you'll also want to do is plug in a pair of headphones. If you're only doing one pair of headphones, I recommend using the headphone jack here on the front of the mixer. It is a little mini jack on the front of the mixer. It's way more conveniently positioned than the ones that are in the back of the mixer back here. There are four headphone jacks in the back of the mixer you can plug into as well. The volume for your headphones is controlled here, 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 and here. If you've only plugged in one pair of headphones, say the headphone jack in the front of the mixer here, then that will be headphone port number one. Turn that up to unity up to 12 o'clock when you get started. If you'd like to plug in speakers into this mixer, there are plugs right here above the record button in the back. They're quarter inch jacks that you can run out to speakers of any description. I've got mine plugged in and the volume for the speaker out is controlled right here on this volume knob. Okay, now that you have your mic plugged in, let's go over the basic setup for your mic and the basic settings that you're gonna wanna do. Generally speaking, you're gonna wanna drop all of the volume knobs down for everything when you're getting started other than the thing you're trying to record with. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one down just for fun right now. Get all of the channels down except for channel one, which is the channel we're going to be working on today. In channel one, what you're gonna do is bring this channel up to unity, this little line right here. You're going to make sure that this is not muted, okay? And when that button is not muted, that means that the audio levels should be coming through right here, which will confirm that when you talk into your microphone, you're actually getting a signal in the mixer. You'll also see that going through the master here, left and right, to let you know that it's impacting the final output of the actual mixer. When you put on your headphones, you'll be able to get confirmation that there's a signal, which I'm going to do right now. And you should be able to, once you plug in the microphone, hear yourself. And that's something that can be really good. Okay, then another feature you should know about, see this little green button here? If you click the green button, you can ensure that you can monitor yourself and you can listen to yourself talking with the green button, uh, even if this channel is muted, you press the red button. That's another way to make sure that you're actually monitoring yourself or monitoring any of the channels is by hitting the green button with the ear on it is monitoring. The red button with the speaker on it is actually muting it so that it doesn't go through the output on the mixer. Great, now that you've plugged in your microphone, I'm gonna take my headphones off here. Now that you've plugged in your microphone, Go ahead and hold down the number one button here. You're gonna go ahead and go through microphone configuration. I'm gonna do a whole video just on this, but the basic gist here is, go ahead and select the type of microphone that you have in this menu under microphones. Select your different preferences in terms of your voice and the strength here. They also have a lot of filters that you can use or not in the mixer. I'm gonna do a whole video just on this. I recommend enabling all of them 
when you first get started. And the most important thing here to recognize is when you're talking, make sure your volume level is right here in between these green lines. And if it's not, turn the volume, the levels down or up here to get it within the green lines, which is kind of the optimal zone for your microphone. Okay. I'm gonna do a whole video just on microphone setup separately because it's, they have a lot of advanced features in the mixer. If you want this mixer to be able to plug into your computer, you have to go through a separate set of uh, processes to do that. But you're basically gonna select the Rodecaster Pro mixer as your input in your computer through your sound control panel. And so the way that you do that is, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my sound control panel right now. What you're gonna do is go to that little speaker icon. Let's cut over to my screen. You're gonna to go to that little speaker icon in the bottom right-hand corner of your computer if you're on Windows, and you go ahead and pull open the sound menu. If you don't know how to get to the sound menu, search for sound in Windows and you can find it. Once you do that, you can choose to output all of your sound on your computer to your Rodecaster Pro if you want, and make sure that your input, most importantly, is the Rodecaster Pro, okay? Once you're done with that, go ahead and click sound control panel to get into the advanced settings on the mixer. There's a couple, this menu right here will pop up when you do that. There's a couple critical settings I want you to know about that are going to make your life a lot easier. Go ahead and go down in the playback tab. If you want your audio to play through the mixer, right click and make sure that uh, this particular mixer is your default device. You see how mine is checked as default device? Make sure it's your default device. Then under recording, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to the Rodecaster Pro, right click, and make sure that it is also your default device there. Here's a critical setting that you guys need to know about. Right click, go to properties, then within this menu go to levels, and I recommend doing 80 for your microphone volume level. It'll start here at zero, move it up to 80. This is a good middle of the road volume level for this mixer that works for almost all of my clients and everybody uh, that uses this mixer, start there. Okay, it'll automatically default you to 48,000 hertz studio quality audio, and you won't be able to change that while you're using it. Don't worry about that at this time. 80 on your master volume level. That is the basic setup this, of this mixer. That's how you can get an input into your computer. That's how you get going with the Rodecaster Pro. But I've got one bonus tip here for you. Maybe you don't wanna hook this mix, mixer up at all to your computer. You can do that with this mixer, check it out. Once you've inputted and you got a mic input here, you can actually hit the record button on the mixer to record directly to a SD card if you have an SD card installed on the mixer. You can plug in the SD card back here on the back of the mixer, there's a little slot for it, you pop that in, and then once that's popped in and it recognizes and it formats the SD card, you can actually hit record on the mixer and it'll record everything that you're doing locally directly to the mixer without having the mixer even plugged into a computer. So you can use this with a computer or without a computer. It is up to you. If you don't already own this mixer and you wanna sound like I do right now, there's no editing in this video. This is the Rodecaster Pro mixer with my uh, Rode Procaster uh, mic as well as the boom stand that comes with the mic, as you can see right here. And this is the way that this mixer sounds raw out the box. No editing at all, no enhancements at all. Link in the description below if you wanna buy the mixer, if you wanna buy the mic and the accessories I'm using as I go through this tutorial series. I highly recommend it. It's my number one recommended audio setup for home studios and podcasters and anyone doing vocals right now. I mean, you can hear it. Does this sound good to you with no editing? Imagine how much processing would make this sound even better. Yep, that's the Rodecaster uh, setup. It's a little bit expensive though. This is like a mid-tier setup, so keep that in mind. All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial video. Link in the description below to the playlist of all of my Rodecaster Pro tutorials, where I'm gonna go step-by-step step and help you with every single thing you need to know to get the most out of this totally amazing mixer. Adios, and happy creating.